Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to discuss uh, something uh, known as the imbalance in order flow. Now, of course, you would have heard a lot about this. So uh, even for people who are new, we're going to discuss what it is and how you can use it. So before we proceed ahead, the indicator that I have on uh, is uh, from Gomicators. So this is Ninja, the Ninja Trader platform and uh, the indicator that I have on uh, for the order flow is uh, Gomicator. Again, the link is in the description if you guys want to check it out. And on the right side, I have the Gomicator uh, volume profile or uh, it is called the MP Pro. This is called the order flow pro as you can see on the left hand side top and corner. Okay, so uh, we discussed a little bit about this uh, indicator uh, using the Delta finish concept in the last video. This video we're going to talk about imbalances and how we can use them. And uh, the chart that I have on is the 51000 C. Uh, I also have the volume profile for the 51000 C. Uh, and at the moment on the right side over here you see the bank nifty futures chart. Now a lot of you guys ask me why I use uh, options chart because the idea is that we need to trade the charts or rather we used to we need to look at the charts that we trade so uh, if you're trading options which uh, most of us guys are uh, actually trading so it is more uh, it is imperative to use these charts okay and you will find that the volumes uh, with respect to the bank nifty futures is uh, there is a drastic difference uh, what do i mean by that the volumes on the bank or rather the CE and PE charts or the options chart is much much more as compared to the futures chart. Now uh, also these volumes tend to pop up uh, twofold or rather multifold on the expiry days rather than uh, the normal days. What do I mean by that? On Mank Nifty expiry days you will see the even the futures chart volumes popping up and the options also going really really high. So uh, we will discuss this sometime later. The idea of this video is to discuss only imbalance. So uh, to start with first uh, we will see uh, what is uh, imbalance. So what I have here is the futures or uh, rather uh, the 51,000 CE chart and on the right side I have the bank nifty futures chart. I also have the volume profile for 51,000 CE which we will just discuss. Now uh, what is an imbalance and how is it caused? Okay so I have done a lot of videos on this but I will just repeat it for people who are new. So uh, an imbalance is created for example in the settings uh, we will just go in a moment. So all these red uh, numbers that you see are imbalances on the set side and on the blue blue numbers are imbalances on the buy side. Now how are they created? Uh, these formula that we are using that any and we look at this diagonally although we also have an option of looking at it horizontally uh, it shouldn't make much of a difference on the whole but uh, since the auction goes on diagonally we look at it diagonally again uh, you can go in one of my previous videos and uh, see why we look at it diagonally. Now how are these imbalances created? So uh, for example I will just uh, zoom it out so that you can see it a lot better. Now if you see uh, this is 1848 to 129 so this is three more than three times so for example if this was 130 and three times will be approximately 390 it is 1848 and that is why it has been colored red. Now of course uh, in this area we see not only is there imbalance created the uh, delta in this bar is a lot higher the volume in this particular space is a lot higher so for me this particular place becomes really important and you see what happens after that so all these imbalances are important but this particular point I saw a huge surge in volume along with a lot of sell side uh, triggers happening now on a trend day these will work okay these places will generally work on a, a day like this that you see over here it will not okay you will keep having these structures all over and uh, in fact you will have uh, not only the delta high or the buy and sell side both numbers would be high okay so uh, uh, for people who do not know the chart settings uh, i will repeat them the numbers here are buy and sell so on the left side we have the market sell orders on the right side we have the market buy orders and the profiles that you see are not buy and sell rather the left side profile is the volume profile or the volume uh, that has been forming along this so it is not in uh, consonance or in conjunction with the numbers the numbers are buy and sell the left side is the market sell the right side is the market buy the profile on the left side is the volume and the profile on the right side is the delta so I have got all all four uh, things that I want to monitor on this particular chart 
this black thing that you see is the POC of this particular bar, which again is uh, of uh, great significance to us. Now, wherever, uh, why do I have the volume profile? So I can see spaces like these, okay? So at this particular uh, junction, I know that there was a huge seller, the volume popped up and he's aggressive because he's taken everything down and the delta is high. So this place is uh, very important. Not that this is this also is, because I'll just come back to it, why this is also important. A huge cluster of volumes accumulated here. You see a huge number of volumes. You see a lot of market sell orders as well as a lot of market buy orders. So uh, at this point on the top, what have I seen? As I have seen a, some sort of a fight that is taking place when the market opened, but I have seen it go down. So I have what I have understood is the imbalances that were created were all on the buy side, primarily on this in this zone. So these guys were absorbed. And over here, whenever I saw an imbalance, I saw the market continue going down. So the thing I get to know from the first bar immediately now, no, it is not going to be true or valid all the time because uh, we see on expiries the market going one way and then the other and this keeps happening both ways. Nevertheless, it gives you good scalping opportunities wherever the market goes. So. Um, let's come back to this point okay now i am seeing within this bar uh, with the imbalances that are taking place number one the buy imbalances are higher all the buy volume has been absorbed because the market eventually went down so the sellers that were aggressive first absorbed these buy volumes okay and then went aggressive and with no resistance whatsoever there is just one buy imbalance here he's been taken out with great ease okay if you see look at the sell side number on the other side okay so uh, and why is this 441 again you look at it diagonally so 128 to 441 uh, it is more than three times that is why it's been colored blue and you see the sell side numbers they are a lot higher and they are forming imbalances one after the other okay all these numbers are not that big so my uh, whole the two places that i am considering is uh, or rather the three is this is uh, absorption by the sellers and this is aggression by the sellers okay so these are the three places I consider whenever the market comes here next. So this is why uh, if you see what happens here, we'll just go bar by bar and then maybe we'll see a replay mode to see how it looks like in real time so that you can understand how to pick these up uh, uh, in real time. So this is the way you uh, plot imbalances. And the other thing, the other clue that you can rather get is uh, that the imbalances uh, will work or uh, like we said, we need to have a uh, be in a trending market for these to work and uh, the first clue that you can get is look at the market structure that is going on okay so for this i will just get the bank nifty futures chart and again what i have here is i will just get it in the center okay so uh, what i have here is uh, the volume profile being plotted as usual and on the right side uh, some of you guys are so this is the composite volume profile for the last five days okay so uh, when the market started, uh, this hadn't started, okay, this particular structure. So when the market opened, I could see this big chunk uh, over here. And immediately I knew that the five day or the last four or five days was within this range, okay. And as soon as this breaks and it is not holding, you look at what has been happening in the last four or five days. I just contracted a little more so that I can show you what I want to show you. So you look at the number of days it has contracted. Uh, in the last past few sessions so it was holding this place okay and uh, the next or the next magnet or you can call whatever uh, the next place of interest to us is like we keep discussing in the high volume node and low volume node sessions is uh, of that becomes of interest is this zone i will just try and get a straight line for this okay so this is the place where i would be uh, thinking that the market might take a support of some sort or the market if the market had to stop it stops here now if you look closely okay uh, this session again i have done a video we'll do it in future if you guys want so if you look closely what happens the market does uh, okay it's expanding so i will just go it is like this okay so the market does try and take on this bar if you look closely take a support and then it breaks and flushes this down. Now, this is a clear signal that the market is going to go down in one direction. It should have had at least some sort of uh, hold or I mean, uh, some sort of rejection. It does reject, but look at the way it uh, rejects here. It is hardly anything. Look at this volume. So obviously there were guys who were trying to defend over here. If you look closely, look at this volume. It has all been absorbed and flushed down aggressively. We'll see this on a CE chart as well. So this uh, and it continues the next uh, place where we can expect some sort of uh, again 
support or resistance is this one look at the flush that keeps happening this one okay and then uh, this these are just nodes that you should have be, have marked on your uh, chart uh, or you can have this uh, composite volume profile this is just for five days that is why it is plotting only for this if you can uh, if you want to have a longer period i generally have five you can have ten so all this volume would also have been plotted this is only five days so probably it is one two three four five only these five sessions were getting plotted now uh, you should ideally have these places marked because if you are uh, aggressing, aggressively entering shorts, you should be knowing where the market is likely to take a support. But uh, what I'm trying to get at is look at the aggression that was happening. It just, these volumes were getting accumulated at these important junctures like this one, you see, and the market continued to go down. So this is a clear signal that there is going to be aggression on one side and uh, no pullback. So, uh, this gives us a very in fact the first one itself gives us a very clear indication that we are going to break this range go down at least this, this point so we're going to discuss this particular setup that when we break this uh, and we start going down and we're going to see it on the footprint chart how these imbalances work in a scenario like this so why i was trying to get you uh, over here is uh, because uh, it, there is there is a context to it the context is that the market has broken the previous five day range so probably it is going to go lower at least till this point or this point depending on how aggressive the sellers are okay so now let's get into uh, first we look at the footprint charts and then we'll replay everything so that we see okay now uh, like we were discussing the imbalances that play a part is this zone is of importance to me this zone and these three zones so the first time the market comes i will just show you in a replay mode also this was a very very good trade that you could have taken on the short side again expecting another test or a breakdown of uh, or at least a touch of this zone when we are talking initially okay on the futures chart if you look at this uh, is what you should have been targeting the poc that was untested for the previous few days and uh, this is what you should have been targeting now uh, after that i have seen in the first five minutes again the first five minutes is too early to judge anything but what i could judge after the first five minutes is that, that the buyers were getting absorbed and the sellers were aggressive and holding on okay now let's go down and uh, over here uh, what we see here is that the when the market goes down i see these again look at these volume chunks and only selling aggression taking place but what happens next is uh, very interesting all these guys so the buy trade for you becomes at this point we didn't know that the aggression is going to be on the sell side so you would have been right in thinking because we are somewhere here that the market is taking support from this area which it was and uh, you would have been right in taking a long as soon as uh, i just show you this part part from here now uh, what happens is the market does go down and look at these buy imbalances pop up okay and they're succeeding and as soon as we break this area of course these sellers who they were would probably get trapped and this was a good area to go long 471 472 again based on the imbalances now we don't as i said we don't know what is going to happen next so only based on these order flow charts i can simply see that all this selling aggression is getting absorbed and they're going to puke and give me at least 30 40 50 points uh, on bank nifty in the opening uh 20 30 minutes okay maybe later on it becomes like this but the opening uh, 30 minutes there is a huge chance of you getting points like this so the market does move up the other thing that you can plot on uh, this particular indicator is if you see there is a number that is coming over here nine and nine so this is what the number of imbalances on the sell side and number of imbalances on the buy side though so this also gives you a very very good clue for example the sell imbalances were more over here again what followed we saw uh over here and now uh, let's see one more thing so uh, over here in the opening bar if you see uh, the sell imbalances were a lot more than the uh, buy imbalances now the follow-up bar this is an interesting bar and you see a lot of uh, sell imbalances as well as the buy imbalances now if the market had to go up there was an attempt being made firstly this was as we discussed an important area where there's a fight being made and look at the bars that keep uh, uh, that the auction continues to take place and this is the third time the bar fails to uh, hold and uh, eventually falls down okay so this is another place uh, before the sell imbalances form where i would have liked to go short aggressively other times i like to wait for the pullbacks but these two places in the initial bars because in the previous imbalance in the previous bar i saw so many sell imbalances getting trapped that was the reason we entered and we saw these buy popping up and getting successful okay 
and in this bar as soon as we break this reason because i am seeing uh, this particular thing fold it from the previous bar not the first time but the second time i see a lot of attempts being made to go up look at this poc and look at the buy imbalance and as soon as it fails you can actually enter a short your uh, idea is look at these imbalances okay one two three in the poc so either uh, if you're aggressive, you can simply enter somewhere here. We'll just see in the uh, replay mode. Or if you are a little, uh, I mean, conservative, this is another place. As soon as it breaks this, we know these guys are uh, predominantly who are trying to buy, are going to fail. And uh, then aggression follows. And this time it continues. Okay. So you can keep trailing your stop losses. And like we have discussed uh, in one of our last few videos, the trailing method is just when the aggression and the uh, is succeeding that is this aggression is succeeding and the market keeps going down rather the price keeps going down uh, with the imbalances you keep trailing up till these imbalances even this place is a very good place to trail the next one being this one now another very very good point although the market never came to this point is this one okay it just uh, these two points look at this look at the volume cluster and look at the imbalances okay so of course there is a huge seller here okay look at these volumes and another one here or the same one he's not allowed the market to go up from here this is a clear indication uh, you would have been right in waiting for this point this was the poc even this one these two points are very good so uh, you would have also been right in taking a trade aggressively over here the second time the market comes here the stop loss just over here so this is just a 10 point stop loss on bank nifty and this is a very very good uh, trade okay because you've seen this sell imbalances succeed and it is not going up okay and uh, similarly this is another place uh, that you can consider the volume and uh, it did pop up but the buyers again failed and it formed another sell imbalance so this is another zone that becomes a carry forward zone for you because of the volumes that are placed here along with the imbalances so this combination of the volume cluster along with imbalances uh, around the same zone is, is a very very uh, good combination that you can use uh, for the imbalances and later on you can just keep checking the charts how it played out even later in the session now what we're going to do is we are going to just go into the uh, replay mode and see how it looked in real time okay so uh, now we are in the replay mode now what you see here is i'll just pause it before we continue now uh, what you see here is on the left side you see this bank nifty futures chart okay so we are seeing uh, at this moment a cluster being formed over here this this particular thing and this on the extreme right what you see here is the uh, ce chart for this uh, particular uh, option that is 51,000 CE. Now over here also uh, look uh, why why we prefer to have the volume profile for this is it gives you a very clear picture. Look at this volume cluster that is forming here. Now if we break and the low volume node here. So again uh, if we break this zone again the low volume node we are bound to go down and what I have here is on the extreme downside for people who uh, are wondering is volume along with uh, the delta over here okay so the delta you can see in terms of uh, volume how the delta percentage was you can uh, i mean uh, increase the width and whatever so the settings of this again it is gomicator we'll discuss it in the coming few sessions but uh, what i have here is look at this volume that has popped up suddenly uh, in this bar and uh, the follow-up bar and this bar you see the delta is almost neutral that we just discussed in uh, where the number of imbalances were same, the delta is neutral, and uh, the price not holding up this point, okay, this particular point is a giveaway that the market might continue down. Now I will also show you something which I can see in the live charts, which probably we didn't see. So this is the area I was talking about. Look at these buy imbalances that have popped up, okay, and the market, of course, these are support resistance zones that are being plotted directly, uh, or. Uh, automatically rather uh, because of uh, the way we have configured it now uh, if the market these buyers are going to get trapped and this is the place where we're thinking of going short because this is the second time the market is trying to go down uh, or rather go up and these buyers are going to fail so any time here whenever we get to this zone we should try and enter with a 10 to 12 point stop loss even in volatile markets like this this is why we use order flow so i will just uh, play it again and uh, show you how it looked like so we just increase the speed okay and uh, 
now keep looking and this is the cell imbalance that uh, formed or rather the sellers that were absorbed here and the market does take uh, uh, i will just pause it so for people who are aggressive okay uh, just let me pause it okay so people who are aggressive again uh, some like to enter on this uh, zone that sellers that have failed uh, and the market is going up you would not be wrong uh, again you have to look at the context in the sense because if you're going up here the maximum you can get is 15 points because this is a zone of at the moment we are not sure of okay so if you're fine with 15 points and your stop loss would be this okay so uh, it will be a, a maximum of one is to one trade because this is how you should enter your trades if you're trying to take a trade here be rest assured that the maximum you can expect is 15 points and uh, your stop loss is, has to be somewhere here a maximum of 10 12 14 15 points okay so uh, that is how you should play it okay and that is why if you're not comfortable taking only 15 points it you shouldn't enter you should rather look at a short trade here i will again play it and show you how this looked like okay and uh, see the market struggling and uh, if you seen the previous uh, delta finish video look at these numbers they're big numbers okay for uh, uh, an options chart okay so there is selling coming from the max delta point of view uh, if you've not seen that video you can go ahead and see watch that previous video and i can see these buyers getting trapped trying to attempt and uh, take it up but failing i'll just increase the speed so this is uh, this was a great area like we just discussed somewhere close to 510 or something uh, where we should have taken a shot okay we had an opportunity to go long as well but why we didn't we just discussed and look at uh, these buyers trying to come in and look at this delta finish numbers change so there is some sort of buying that is trying to pitch in from this zone okay look at this zone uh, th this is the same place where the buyers have attempted in the previous two bars they have failed and uh, they were trying again and at this moment if someone is aggressive or trailing you should start trailing your losses i mean uh, trades and you can see what happens i will just decrease the speed so you can see how well uh, these just a minute okay just a minute so uh, you can see let me play it again how aggressive uh, the sellers are and how look at this bar as well over here so this is primarily delta and again some sort of uh, pullback or uh, selling try to slow down is uh, happening but nevertheless uh, what it has given us is a good chunk of points from uh, where we started and uh, uh, we would have got at least 20 30 points till this point even if uh, we were a little slow in taking your profits or whatever we we'll like we discussed it is sometimes uh, really beneficial to have your uh, bracket orders placed or even uh, if not that we are playing at a very high speed but you would have got an opportunity to at least get out somewhere here 85 okay so that would have been a good 25 points and over here you can again see these positive numbers so there is a sort of pullback that is happening again if we break this zone we can and you look at these sellers they're trying to hold on this is the example what we what we discussed so if i see another uh, bar or some failure that is happening and i can see the buyers trying to come here and not getting that successful this is the second one so these two zones are the ones that we discussed look how they uh, look at this and now here is again you wouldn't have been wrong in going ahead with the aggression and taking a shot exactly at this zone expecting at least a test of uh, somewhere close to this so if you enter here again your stop loss should have been just above this zone okay so it is uh, hardly 10 12 points and expectation is at least 1 is to 1.5 that is at least 15 to 20 points a test of this zone somewhere and uh, so on so uh, you have a clear picture where you need to take your entries where you need to put your stop losses and even if you see for example in a footprint chart i'll just delete this so if you're a little conservative and you see something like this happening look at these numbers turn positive and you see these sellers uh, getting a little bit trapped if you see these imbalances going up you can come out if you are conservative or wait or you can trail your stop losses right just above this zone okay or uh, mid or above this point this 1065 okay so you essentially are giving away just five six points if you're not ready to take uh, these 10 points that are on offer or 15 points that are on offer and you want to wait a little longer so you can do both all these things looking at uh, in the live markets in the live on the live charts okay so uh, this is how you can use it and uh, over here if you go on the volume profile we discuss the volume profile also 
on the options chart in uh, the following sessions which is also giving us a good signal now this is uh, just a minute okay let's draw a straight line okay so this is another important point that now becomes of importance to us that is exactly this this zone okay it is somewhere between uh, 490s and 500 somewhere this zone uh, is this low volume node if you see so if we break this only then should we consider going a lawn and test of these highs if you are not breaking this look at this numbers the next high volume node that is forming is somewhere here okay this is the zone that we are having uh, a high volume node the market is trying to go up from there and it is failing and uh, once it fails like this uh, of course we can again uh, expect a pop and a uh, break of this low okay and uh, now carry forward zones become these uh, imbalance zones that we have formed again look at the way uh, the buyers are trying to defend it but they're not successful so uh, these are the pullback zones that you can wait now again if you have to wait for a good pullback zone for example if you wanted to enter aggressively within the bar what you should do is uh, either you test uh, have the VWAP of the bar on which we'll again discuss in one of the following sessions or these zones where there are volume clusters like we discussed and imbalance zones. so somewhere here uh, you can try and enter a short whenever the mar market approaches and you see just before that buyers trying and failing okay so you can enter your shorts then if you want to continue entering uh, or uh, playing the aggression towards the sell side okay so hopefully uh, this video uh, was of some help to you guys you got guys got to learn something new until next time thank you bye bye